and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all things kid infant pillows. <laughs> More specifically, I am going to be talking about the Boppy nursing pillow versus the My Breast Friend nursing pillow, as well as my take on the Snuggle Me Organic versus the Docatot. And I am also going to talk a little bit about the Boppy Lounger. So for anyone that is new around here, I am a proud mama of a three and a half year old daughter and a five and a half month old son. Um, I nursed both of them. I am still nursing my son. So I feel like I know my way around a nursing pillow or two. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in and we are gonna start comparing the Bobby versus the My Breast Friend. So the Bobby is this guy. I think we're all familiar with it. Um, this is kind of like a rite of passage, it feels like, for new moms. Uh, it's on everyone's registry. We all have one, we all got one, because I think we think we're supposed to. And it's a great pillow. It really, really is. Um, it serves way more purposes, like purpose than just nursing. So in addition to using it as a nursing pillow, I'm just gonna start off with everything I love about this. So pro, First of all, the covers. It is so easy to find covers for the Bobby nursing pillow. I mean, they are very readily available, whether it's a small shop on Etsy or on Amazon, they're all over the place. I probably have three to four of them. The actual pillow of the Bobby itself is a very standard kind of soft, squishy pillow. So you can machine wash it. Drying it's a little weird. The instructions do say to um, dry it with a tennis shoe inside of a pillowcase um, <laughs> or a tennis ball. And, or in my case, I use wool dryer balls and that seems to do the trick, but that is to help um, it maintain its shape. If you don't do that, you risk um, the pillow losing its shape. So love that aspect of it. The other thing I love is the longevity of this pillow. First of all, this is the same boppy that I have had since my daughter was born, which was in 2017. Um, and it's held up really well. And again, since it's not just used for nursing, there are so many purposes. One, and you can sit baby in it, like when they're learning to sit up, like unassisted. So baby can actually like sit in here um, and then use this back part to help support them. They can also use it during tummy time. So when baby is on it, they can they would be on their stomach, arms would be over, and this can assist them in doing tummy time. So I love that it serves more than just the purpose of nursing, and I really feel like I have gotten my money out of this pillow, for sure. Now, where the boppy falls short for me is actually in its main purpose, and that is nursing. I had a heck of a time with this thing with my first, and I just didn't know any better. It was the only nursing pillow that I like knew of. I genuinely did not know that any other nursing pillows existed. Um, so I just struggled through, and that was that. And I didn't really think much of it until I had my son five and a half months ago, and within like the first week I wanted to like throw it out the window. I had just like everything came flooding back to me on how difficult this pillow was to nurse with. And here's why. So when you use the bobby, you put it around your waist, right? And if you're nursing how you're supposed to be, meaning you're not hunched over and you're not like bringing yourself to baby, but instead bringing baby to you. So your shoulders should be sitting, should be, you know, upright. You should be sitting nice and straight to help protect your back. If you're doing that, the nursing pillow needs to be higher up. It basically needs to be like right beneath your breasts. Um, and there's no support because it ends at your back and it only goes around your side. It's funky. Um, in addition, this is not like friendly for all sizes. Um, I mean, right after you have a baby, you know, you're still kind of rocking in that like first, maybe even second trimester bump. <laughs> um, 
and this is just not forgiving. So it can be kind of weird. So when you're stretching it too far out, again, that's funky. Um, so what I ended up doing when I would nurse is I would find other pillows and have to shove it up underneath the bobby to make enough support to nurse baby, which seems silly. So um, it was at, I think, um, uh, an appointment with my lactation consultant. Uh, she had the My Breast Friend pillow in her like room for people to use while she was doing like her consultations and stuff. And so I instantly fell in love. Enter my breast friend. So this thing is weird looking. It is big. It is bulky. It's got buckles. It's got pockets. Um, it's, it's interesting looking. So right off the bat, I'm going to start with kind of the negatives of this pillow. And that is that it only serves one purpose and that is to nurse with. So I would say after maybe three to four months, it's just not really needed anymore. Um, chances are, you know, nursing looks a little bit different. Baby has more head control and you're able to kind of like cradle them in a different way. Um, so that's frustrating is buying something that you're really only going to be utilizing for a few months. The other thing I don't love about the My Breast Friend is cleaning it. So getting the cover off of this is way more difficult than the Boppy Pillow, just because of its shape. Um, it zips all the way around. So I mean, it does come off, but there's just so much more to uncover and stuff back into it. And on top of that, you can't wash the like inside the actual pillow itself. It's more of like a wipeable material, um, which I guess depending on how you look at it is kind of nice. Uh, but I don't know. Sometimes you just wish you could wash the whole thing, especially in between kids. If you keep this around, um, that would be nice. So now that that's out of the way, all the things I love about this pillow. Oh, okay. So one biggest difference between the bobby of course is the shape right so this actually goes around you and like straight clips in locked and loaded um and i have it like too tight right now there we go um and it stays up like the support is amazing also the back support is great too I've used this in my glider. I've used it on the couch. I've used it sitting in bed. I have brought it to family's houses and plopped on the couch with it. Like I had no shame because this thing seriously made nursing like truly hands free. Um, it might be hard to see in the video, but the actual shape of this, there is a bump here and a like raised bump here. And that is so that baby's head is supported regardless of like where you're nursing. So if you're doing, you know, like a football hole, you can have the pillow way over here and then baby's head is supported. If you're doing a crossbody hold, there you go. Same thing as if you're doing a football hold on this side or a crossbody on this side. It's just extremely supportive and you do not need to put anything underneath it, like at all. If you want it to be more supportive, all you need to do is literally cinch it. Um, <laughs> the one thing about this pillow when I first got it, I, I think that in the like stock photos, um, they have like a water bottle inside of this pocket right here. And I thought that was the silliest thing. I was like, what the hell am I going to put in that pocket? Like why? I'm not going to put a water bottle in there. And while I didn't put a water bottle, you best believe that I had snacks, my cell phone, um, the remote controls <laughs> for the TV. Um, like in those early days when you were nursing that tiny baby and it's like just a marathon situation, this pillow, I mean the pillow, the, well the pillow did, but the pocket specifically like rocked my world. Um, after a while it kind of got in the way and I found, found it like nice to just like tuck it in on itself just to get it out of the way. But especially in those first few weeks, this thing was a lifesaver. So my final thoughts on the Bobby versus the My Breast Friend is this. You really need to decide why you want the pillow. 
do you want something that you can use for the next year, year and a half of your child's life? Or do you want something that is very specifically for nursing? If you want something that is specifically for nursing, hands down, I'm going to go with the breast friend all day, every day. It was such a game changer for me. It allowed me to have better posture while I nursed. It allowed baby to be comfortable. I was seriously like hands free. Like I could have both hands free while nursing, which was huge. Um, but I'll give it to the Bobby. It, it just kind of serves an entirely different purpose. I love it for tummy time. I love it um, when we're transitioning to unassisted sitting. There are great things about it. So I would say at the price point for the My Breast Friend, which I think is like $40, I was okay with only using it for three to four months. That felt worth it to me. Um, the Boppy Pillow, I think can get a little bit more expensive. Um, if you get like the ones with like kind of the softer like covering, I think they can go up to like $60. But again, like the longevity of what like you can do with it is, you know, more than the my breast friend so again depends on what you're looking for but for strictly nursing purposes hands down my votes for the my breast friend all right now we are going to talk about the snuggle me organic and the docatot so i see this question all the time these two items are very similar to each other in the fact that they are both infant loungers Beyond that, they're actually very different products. And I think that they serve two very different purposes. Um, similarly to how the Bobby and the breast friend had, um, like, I'm going to call them shelf lives <laughs> at home. You know, one of the, the Snuggle Me Organic, I think, is only usable for a shorter period of time. So let me explain. And actually, let me rewind really quickly. Just want to put a little disclaimer out there to please do your research straight from snuggle me and from docatot and from boppy for their um, infant lounger none of these devices or pieces of furniture are considered safe sleep spaces meaning these are not items that you are that are okay for you to leave baby in to sleep in unsupervised so Please make sure that you are always following, you know, safe sleep protocol. These devices are not intended for baby to sleep in unsupervised. Okay, moving on. So the Snuggle Me Organic. This has a price tag, I want to say, the infant one of $99. Um, but I got it on sale during their Black Friday sale and it was $69, which felt like a great deal to me. Um, if you are looking for a great deal from them year round, Snuggle Me does have something that they call imperfects and that's, it could be imperfect for any number of reasons. I'm not usually sure, I'm not totally sure what they always are, whether it's stitching or something like that. Um, but they have sales, I think almost every Thursday where they drop a certain number of imperfects. If you join their Facebook group, Snuggle Me, um, they always have the information in there and I'll try to put a link for that below um, as well as I will put a link to all of these products below as well. Um, so the Snuggle Me Organic looks like this if you are not totally familiar and this is the gingerbread color and I absolutely love it. Um, one of the first things that I noticed when I actually got the Snuggle Me in the mail was that this middle part right here has zero padding. No padding whatsoever. It is just fabric. So that was something that I actually wasn't expecting. Um, and a lot of moms who also received it were a little surprised. So if you were planning on using this like on the floor and you have hardwood, um, or tile or linoleum or anything like that, you're probably going to want to still put a blanket down underneath it. Because like I said, there's no padding for baby's head. Um, just a personal preference but it's totally fine on a bed on the couch on an ottoman or anything like that now the snuggle me is designed to do just that snuggle baby so because of the way that the middle of this is designed when the baby 
is laid down in it, the sides kind of like hug around baby. And it's very comforting. It mimics almost like a swaddle. It's like you're holding them. Um, truthfully, for like the first six weeks of my son's life, this is the only place he would sleep. Supervised. Um, and it was like, it was maddening. He just didn't want to sleep anywhere else. And so my husband and I had to like take shifts uh, watching him sleep in this. But so yes, so it truly just kind of like hugs them. Now the Dakotot does not do that. The middle part of the Dakotot where baby is sleeping is wider and it's more of like a bumper system. So the Dakotot allows baby to not like roll away. Um, so a lot of people love having them on the bed. You know, if you're folding laundry, if you're putting clothes away, if you're doing something and you need a safe place to put baby down where they're not going to be able to like roll over or slide or do anything like that, then the Dakotot is great for that. Um, I will say what's nice about the Dakotot is that the bottom of it actually unsnaps. So it goes from being, you know, circular all the way around to having like an open bottom. So you can actually get some more use out of it the older your kiddo gets. Whereas with the Snuggle Me, I would say that my son outgrew the infant size at like five months. Um, it just didn't, he didn't like being that like smushed. So that was a personal preference for my baby. He didn't like all of that. Um, so in that case, had we gotten the Dakotot, we probably still would be using it because it would have given him more space to be able to like move his body. Um, but yeah, so they're actually just two very different devices. Uh, not devices, but pillows. The Snuggle Me, again, it's going to hug your baby. The Dakotot is not. It's going to act as a place with like a padded barrier for you. Um, so again, depending on what your needs are and what your wants are, like both of them are great products. They're just both very different. So I had decided that I was more concerned with comforting baby in those first few weeks coming home from the hospital. And that's why I went with the Snuggle Me. The other infant lounger I wanted to cover really quickly is the infant lounger from Boppy. So this is it. And they also make covers for this. I have several. I only took it off because it's hard to see the stitching and everything on it. But this lounger is also fantastic but again, serves a very, very different purpose than the other two infant loungers. So when we're giving my son a bottle, this lounger is great. It has kind of like a slope. So it's higher here, the baby's bottom sinks down into here, and then there's a little bit of a lift for the legs. Um, this is great, especially for babies that maybe have a reflux, um, for getting them to be upright after you nurse them, bottle feed them, however you're feeding your baby, if they need to remain with their like head above their stomach for reflux purposes, this pillow is great, especially for a tired mama's arms. You can put them in here. They're gonna be elevated enough to where they're receiving the benefits as if you were holding them up. Um, and again, if you're giving baby a bottle, it's also enough of a, an incline to be able to feed baby a bottle without having to kind of like do that awkward holding situation. So we found that when it was time for Tanner to have bottles, he was much more comfortable in the boppy lounger than he was in our arms, truthfully. So that is the scoop on all of the pillows. <laughs> I hope that this was helpful. If you guys have any questions about nursing pillows or infant loungers or maybe what the difference between all of these things is or any more specific questions, please drop a comment below. I will do my best to link all of these items, including my Boppy cover that I got um, in the description below. Please do me a favor and like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you guys so much.